I'll give it to you first, Larry, after we see this video. This is just pure tea nuts. And I'll tell you what happened to the guy in the video. By the way, subscribe. Check me out. Subscribe to Larry. Super chat. Let's go. The gentleman that had his knee on somebody's neck, and I'm just gonna call them both fools, he worked for a police department, he's been outed, and he's been placed on leave, and the last thing I read up was he's getting fired tomorrow. Larry, they say there's no racism in America. What the hell was that? They, yeah, I mean, that's that's just clearly, let, I mean, let me that's give just you one, clearly, go ahead. Let me give you one more too, Larry. They always complain that when black people fuss about the politics of Republicans and we call some of them racist, that we're just dead wrong. Larry, who did, whose flag was back there underneath the American flag? Right. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, anybody who says that Donald Trump is not out there supporting these racists and they're not out there supporting him, every time you go, you and see one of these, one of these you know, performances that they put on, where you see them out there and they're in their protests and they're running around in their little in their little uh you know toy soldier outfits with their oh, guns Lord. and their and their body armor and their and their flying flags you'll always you'll see the three flags often together you'll see you'll see the the don't confederate dread on flag me. don't you'll dread on me yeah you'll see that sometimes you'll see the confederate flag you'll see the nazi flag and you'll, you'll see, see the trump, trump flag yep you'll see the trump flag you'll see the, and, the, the and you and you'll see the pow flag too and I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to throw the POW flag in there because there are there are a lot of there are a lot of POWs that are that are minorities. I know white people like to like to, uh, you know, the, not just white people, but a lot of the right wing people like to uh, like to appropriate these symbols and use them for their own racist means. But I'm going to leave that one alone for the moment because I think oh, that I'm there's. Not, I, I'm not saying I want to get rid of the flag. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when you see that group of people like we just seen right there, right. those are the flags they like to drape themselves in. I'm not saying get rid right. of the POW flag because right. nobody's not saying that black people don't have patriotism. It right. just makes it hard when you're dealing with these ignoramuses you just seen right here. And just, Larry, can you imagine if they were slowly taking that parade through the hood and this was some white cause? And Susie right. Lily White girl being killed, and black people had their knee out on the front porch on her neck. Right. Yeah. I mean, here here's the thing, right? Is that we all know they're full of crap. That officer, this is the thing. When you when you think about it, someone like that that has those sorts of has those sorts of feelings and opinions and and expresses publicly that level of racism. And this Fake is the thing. G.I. Joe. Right, but here's the thing: for someone to express that level of racism openly in public means the, the amount that he truly holds in his heart. It mm -hmm. has to be a hundredfold. Mm -hmm. and, and as a police officer, his willingness to do that it means what he's holding inside is a hundredfold. So you know, as as a as a black person, as a a brown person, if you ever have to encounter him. While he's on the job, you cannot expect that your constitutional rights are going to be, you know, respected. You can't expect that you're going to get a fair shake from him. No, what you can expect is that your constitutional rights are going to be violated. And the chances are what he's showing as him sitting on standing on someone's neck is likely to has happened on the job or he's shot and hurt people or killed people on the job because he is biased. He's a racist. And you can't put that aside. You can't just say, OK. I'm clocking into work for the next nine hours. I'm not going to be a racist for the next nine hours. Oh, okay. I'm off work. I'm going to go ahead and click my race, put my racist shirt back on. No, you're a racist all day, every day. Yeah. You I was going to say, you say just on the job. Can you imagine yeah. what his interactions are like with blacks or Mexicans or anyone in her in public? Like he could be grocery shopping. And instead right. of being courteous, 
he just do something that you know is just dead ass wrong. Cut you off while he's driving, right. slam the door in your face, and then try to make it seem like it was just a coincidence. And here's the other thing. If you and you see those signs, you see they have that sign that says all lives matter. I mean, that, just, that whole thing is just so dismissive. But I, I saw I saw a, a, a really funny tweet or Instagram someone posted, and it said, it said, you can't, you can't tell me all lives matter when just three weeks ago you were protesting, talking about let grandma die so that so that we can save our economy. I yeah. mean, you can't say all lives matter when you're so willing to throw other people's lives to the wind so that uh -huh. you can sit up there and go get drunk at your local bar or so that you can get your little crusty bunion shaved off and, and your nails painted and your hair done. You can't say that all lives matter when you're willing to sacrifice all kinds of lives so that you can have a little bit of, of economic prosperity. And no. and not not only was it them saying that, but politicians, the guy, what was in the Gregory Abbott, one of them in Texas came out and said that. Lieutenant Governor of Texas came out and, and, and paraphrasing said, we might as well just let granny go. They live their life, blah, 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 right. and, and in order to get the economy going. And, right. and and then yet you don't understand why not only not only have you disenfranchised African-Americans, but people who are in poverty, you've disenfranchised them, too. Right. And now and everybody I, and is this, coming together. And this is a thing that I hope that I hope I hope old people, regardless of their of their political, you know, uh, leanings. I hope they remember that those things were said and those were the attitudes of the of the of the right wing and the Republicans because the single largest voting block in this country are the elderly. They are the largest voting block in this country. They are the most active voters. They vote in every election. They don't vote mm -hmm. just in presidential elections like a lot of people do. They show up to those local elections where they're voting on school bonds and yeah. city council members and school board mm -hmm. members. They show up and vote for everything. And I hope they remember that. I hope they remember how the Republicans thought of them and how treat, how they treated them and how they were so willing to throw their lives away so that they can have their bars and their barber shops and their hair salons open and their tanning booths. Hell, they instead of throwing them under the bus, they threw them under hell. They would just say, Get the fuck out of here, man, and go right. straight down there and burn so that we can get this money rolling again. 